Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Aquarius. All right, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Aquarius. All right, let's see what the messages are for Aquarius. November 20 and 21 for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Aquarius. How is Aquarius feeling? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, please, spirit. What's the message is for Aquarius? So we have the Nine of Wands. Frustration, irritation. Okay, you're just annoyed with someone or something here, Aquarius. Okay, could be dealing with the Sagittarius. We have Three of Cups. You're annoyed that someone's celebrating you. You're watching someone be celebrated here, Aquarius. You're stalking them or they're watching you. And you're annoyed at this. Yeah, because someone's in love or someone has someone new or someone's moved on. Or, or you think they have. Yeah. So what, what is this? What's the messages? Yeah, the Ace of Cups. So someone has new love here, or they're, or they're being celebrated, or they're celebrating their new love, and that frustrates you. Maybe you're seeing this online. You yeah, have the death, the knight of cups, and the temperance. You yeah, have the six of swords. So I'm definitely getting the energy of someone moving forward here, or moving on to new love, or they want to. Yeah, the page of swords. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody move, is moving on because they just feel like someone's taking too long to to offer a commitment or to, or to, or something. Four of Wands, Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, the Will of Fortune and the Eight of Wands. So something's shifting here quickly. Something's moving forward drastically and fast here. Okay, the Will of Fortune is something. Shifting two, two, two on the clock. Something is switching up here. All right. Yeah, the devil. I'm getting somebody is like really, really possessive and controlling over someone here. They're annoyed. They don't like someone getting attention. Someone wants to come in quick here. This could be someone at a distance. They they may have to travel towards you. It could be eight an eight-hour flight or if not that, this could just be someone traveling towards you. But I'm definitely getting an energy here of someone, yeah, the high priestess. What's the devil? And yeah, someone is like what's the devil in the four pictures? Someone's very possessive here. Very, very possessive and very controlling. What's the devil and the four of pentacles? Yeah, the ace of swords. Clearly, yeah. So someone's someone's very okay, yeah. So yeah, the, the lovers in the six of pentacles. So this this is someone who, yeah, the three of pentacles, sun, ten of pentacles, nine of cups, ten of cups. So this is someone who feels emotional fulfillment with you. They feel very happy. Okay, they want to be with you, but I don't know the seven of swords. Yeah, somebody either has a choice to make or they or. Or, or something here. This could be a third. Yeah, this could be a third party situation. But I'm getting someone wants to be with someone else. That's online. They could be highly influential. Someone at a distance. Maybe someone that's on stage. Someone that someone's watching here heavily. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Ten of Wands in reverse. That's like an energy. I'm getting it's Yeah. Yeah, there's something secret going on here. This could be a work situation or... So I'm just getting the energy here of someone wanting to leave a situation behind. There could be a toxic situation that someone's holding on to. Someone can also be telling lies here. Or hiding secrets, but whatever this is, something is shifting, something is changing. Someone wants to leave something behind and go towards something new. 
just period there's two aces here this could be someone online someone that's celebrated here okay someone that's in the public eye yeah the ten of swords i'm getting something's going to end abruptly here yeah the king of pentacles i'm also getting something about a job a job is ending here for someone yeah we have the magician and the knight and the uh knight of wands so this person, this is the type of person, yeah, the five of cups. This is the type of person that likes to have multiple lovers or this could be someone that's not sure about their sexuality. I'm also hearing that. But this is someone that likes to have options here. All right. Or someone regrets having options or someone re regrets a choice that they made here. Yeah. Three of wands. I'm getting someone's missing someone at a distance here that they're madly in love with, they want to be with here, okay? I'm not even, I'm, I'm not getting that somebody even, what's the, uh, what is this? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to uh, offer their cup or, or an apology or an offer to someone else. Yeah, the Hierophant, Two of Cups and the Emperor. Someone sees themselves marrying you, but there, there seems to be competition here. This could be someone that's very popular or someone sees you as someone... Who, who just gets a lot of attention and they're worried about that. Yeah, Page of Wands, Queen of Cups. You could be very much loved and respected in your field here. I'm getting that that makes someone, yeah, Six of Wands. That makes someone insecure a little bit here. Okay, yeah, the Ten of Cups. You're loved and you're liked, you're sought after, you're looked up to. Yeah, the star. Someone's definitely in the public eye. All right. But I'm getting there's someone that's, that, that you don't like or that's bitter or that you live with. Um, Aquarius, five of swords. I'm getting you hate the person you live with. Okay. This could be an earth sign or it could be a Virgo or a, or a fire sign or a Libra. Yeah, I'm because I'm getting you want to be with this 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 person who's self sufficient, this person that's a business owner in the public eye, a star, somebody that does well for themselves, somebody that you just feel more. Yeah, the emperor, a business owner, someone that 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 that's like self made, like a self made energy. I'm getting you're really holding on to this person, or or they're really holding on to you, Aquarius. Yeah, six of cups, but I'm getting. What's the Six of Cups? Yeah, Nine of Swords. There could be someone here. Yeah, the Three of Swords. There, there's a breakup or an ending. This is definitely a third party situation. Somebody's leaving the past or breaking up with someone from their past. Or there's an ex here that's still kind of holding on. I'm getting somebody refuses to see a situation for what it is. Somebody is moving forward. They're moving on. If they're rejecting you or they're being mean or cold or nasty or whatever, I'm, I'm just getting, yeah, because this is you, Aquarius. I'm getting you're being sneaky here. You're lying. There's secrets. You're hiding shit. There's somebody else you're in love with or you want to be with and you're not being open about that or honest. But I'm getting there is going to be clarity or truth here with the Ace of Swords. Somebody is going to express how they feel here. There is like, yeah, the Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away from a situation here. Okay. I'm just getting the energy of somebody really wanting to, to be with someone else here. Just period. Yeah, Page of Cups. Someone's being left out in the cold because, and I'm also getting a work situation is changing. Or someone's ending a job here. But... This definitely is giving me vibes of like two people that don't get along. I'm getting like so th there's not even an, any attraction here. I'm getting the attraction is with this with this outside person that someone wants to be with. Yeah, we got the nine of pentacles, queen of pentacles. That's empress energy. Ace of pentacles, a higher five. Somebody may even propose to this person. They want to propose. There, there's someone new around someone here. And someone's just they're leaving. They don't want to be with this person. They're not attracted to this person at all. Like, there's no there's no attraction here. Somebody doesn't feel the chemistry, the love, the attraction, or anything anymore. It's just over. Just period, point bank. Yeah, the five of swords, that's you. 
Aquarius. I'm getting there's an endless battle of wits here. A lot of arguing and, and fighting and competitiveness in a relationship that somebody's not happy. And yeah, the justice, not a pinnacle. Somebody's going to apologize or go, go towards this other person. Yeah. That they're watching. I'm getting someone stalking someone that's on a world stage, literally. Four of Wands in the world. Okay, they want, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, the higher font, and the Two of Cups. Someone's going to propose to someone else here. They're going to marry them, or they want to, or they're going to propose to them. Someone's leaving another situation behind. They have no more passion for, no more attraction for, no more anything. Someone here is very, very sneaky as well. Okay, someone's a habitual liar with the Devil and the Seven of Swords being here next to each other. Someone's a habitual liar. Someone could also only be dealing with someone because of money or or, or something like that. Yeah. This could be a work situation where someone met someone at work, a secret love at work or something like that. Yeah. The Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands with the world. I'm getting somebody, whatever somebody does for work, they're on stage or... Yeah, someone's in and out of a, 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 um, a cycle here and they're moving forward. They want to... Be with this other person, just period. That's the energy I'm getting here. Someone's tired of lying or def having to defend themselves or whatever this is here. Yeah, as soon as I said defend themselves, seven of wands. Somebody's tired of having to defend themselves and be and feeling stuck. Someone, someone is clear that they want to rush in and do, yeah. I'm getting there's defensiveness, there's arguing. Someone's going to cuss somebody ass out. Then they're going to block them or leave them on red or, or just ignore them because somebody wants to go towards someone else. Just period. Like someone here is reckless. They're cold. They don't care how they do it or what they do. At this point, they just don't give a fuck. They want to be with the person that they want to be with. They're tired of the drama, the fighting, the arguing. What's the five of swords? The games, the competition, the, the yeah, the, the on and off, the jealousy, the back and forth, the harsh words, yeah, the competitiveness. I'm just getting a lot of harsh, bitter words being said here. Someone's just, they're over it. They're, they're the King of Cups, Ace of Wands, Justice, the Chariot, the Queen of Wands. Someone's moving on. They're too stuck on this Libra or this, or this, or this person is beautiful. They're on stage in the public eye. They're smart. They're intelligent. They could be a psychic. They're celebrated or whatever. Somebody is wanting to be with this other person. They could even be a model or something online. But someone's popular here and someone wants to be with somebody that's more attractive or more popular or just more ambitious, more fiery, more lively. Somebody that, that they feel a more, more of a match with, that they can build a life with. That's someone that's intellectually on their level. I'm getting somebody, yeah. I'm just getting in every indication of someone being left behind. Like something is just, it's just over here. Yeah, judgment is time. Judgment is being called to make a decision to leave something behind, to let the tower fall, because it's going to fall anyway. And if you, you know, trying to hold on to something that's meant to fall, it's going to end even worse. That's how the universe works. Yeah. The Ten of Pentacles. I'm getting somebody sees family and marriage with someone else. Not not in, in the relationship that they've been in. This long-term relationship is not there. Yeah, somebody's stuck on this empress energy. Like, I'm getting nobody, somebody doesn't even want anybody unless it's this Libra or somebody feels stuck to their baby mama. Maybe there's a child or something involved. They feel stuck, but they're not, they're very discontent and unhappy. Very much so with this person. And I'm getting somebody is going to let that be known or they're going to, they're just not going to give a fuck. They're blocking off people, cutting people off, and they're going towards what they want. They're going to stand up and defend the love that they want to be with and the person that they want to be with. Yeah, somebody feels stuck to like a, a wife or a baby mama situation, but that's falling down with the tower. That's over. 
someone's releasing that and they're going towards this empress queen of wands energy yeah nine of pentacles we got the empress queen of wands nine of pentacles somebody fine as hell independent beautiful a business owner very wealthy very uh, somebody's a star they're going to be world renowned somebody's just doing their fucking thing if somebody feels like they're more fit yeah the empress and the higher fine somebody's really looking at this empress or someone's going to ghost their baby mama. They're just going to, there's going to be an ending here. Yeah, the sun card, the king of cups, the chariot, the judgment. Someone's been ca being called to end a situation here and move towards someone else. I'm getting that, that it's going to happen regardless. Someone's in love with someone, just period. Someone's lying to someone else about their feelings, but I'm getting they're going to be open. Someone's just going to say it. It could come out in a harsh way. Okay, yeah, nine of pentacles. I'm getting someone's really looking at someone's photos. They could be investigating. Someone could have a private investigator following someone. But I'm just getting like somebody's really looking at someone's photos. Like if they post pictures or photos, somebody looks at them bitches hard. Yeah, the death card. Scorpio energy, Capricorn, Libra is here, Virgo is here, Pisces, Cancer, Aquarius is here, Virgo is here, Taurus is here, Leo is here, okay? It, it could be any sign, um, Aries or Gemini, Sagittarius. So yeah, the death in the tower, something, something is over here. Okay, yeah, we have the King of Cups in the fight, yeah. Something's being left behind or someone's being left up behind. I'm getting there's no more attraction, no more love, no more feelings. Someone just does not have feelings for someone at all. They don't have attraction for them or anything. Okay. And I'm getting that's going to be expressed this weekend. Somebody is moving on or moving forward. And if it's not this weekend, the next 48 is going to be very soon here. Somebody's deciding to move on with their lives. Like there's a new cycle yet. Yeah, um, Something is being called to change here with the will of fortune, and it's going to change fast. Okay, so this is this full moon is about eclipses. I'm getting with the will of fortune and the eight of wands. Something's being eclipsed out of somebody's life. Yeah, and the moon just period. Someone also could be trying to do some kind of black magic to disrupt a, a, a relationship or, or to try to end a relationship or keep someone from moving forward or bound someone to them. It's not going to work. The will of fortune and the ju judgment is here. Somebody is destined to move on and do something else here. Just period. And no matter what, and no matter what somebody does, um, it's not going to stop that. What's the will of fortune? Because the judgment didn't come out. What's the will of fortune? What is the will of fortune? I'm just getting, what's the will of fortune? I'm just getting destiny here. Something's meant to shift and change. What's the will of fortune? Yeah, nine of cups and the two of cups. Someone's destined to make a different decision to go towards their happiness. They're being pushed and called to do this. What's the two of wands? Yeah, the eight of swords. I just feel an energy of someone trying to create like confusion in someone's life or or trying to yeah the sun trying to keep someone from uh trying to sabotage someone's happiness or trying to keep someone from making the decision that's that's best for them or that makes them happy yeah the fool card trying to keep someone from moving on and going towards their happiness it's going to happen anyways yeah the two of swords in the reverse someone's made a decision they want to reconcile or go towards someone else and they're not going to that, that's not going to change. Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles energy. Something about a business owner, someone that's very independent, very self-sufficient, very attractive, very strong, very fiery, just an, a very ambitious energy here. Yeah, the justice and the judgment with the Ace of Wands. Someone's being called to move forward with the chariot and to leave a situation behind. Five of Pentacles. I'm getting that's what they're going to do here. Like their guides are, are on them too hard here. What's the messages? Give me a couple cards for Aquarius. Like somebody, if somebody is like, I'm just getting an energy where somebody, they they may not have like, they may have, may have stayed in the situation because of kids or because it was somewhere to live or because of um like being familiar or stability or all or or whatever like feeling like it's a safety net but i'm getting somebody's miserable they don't want to be there anymore they don't want to do it somebody's just not on the same page as them 
like at all. So this is this is two people who are not that don't get along at all or see things the same way. They're not compatible. Someone has found someone that they're more compatible with here, that they're absolutely in love with and, and that they see a future with. And they're going to go towards that person. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for Aquarius, please. Next 48, November 20th to the 21st for Aquarius. Okay, attraction. Yeah, there's a lot of attraction. Yeah, past life relationship. Someone's very attracted to someone. Attraction, you attract romantic uh, love by enjoying this moment fully in past life relationship. You have known each other before. Yeah, it is safe for you to love. Someone feels, yeah, flirt, chemistry, engagement. Someone's flirting. There's chemistry. There's going to be an engagement here with someone. Okay, someone feels like it's safe for them to love with this, this person. This new person or this new love, there's a past life. There, there's a true connection here. Yeah, we have um, children. Your love life is being affected by children, but that's coming out in the reverse. Yeah, unrequited love. So I'm getting somebody who's standing in the situation because of children. I'm getting they're not doing that anymore. Okay, someone can also be threatening to take the children if someone leaves, but unrequited love. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I've been saying that since the beginning. Someone is not attracted to someone anymore at all. Not mind, body, soul, physically, none of that. Their attraction is here with this other person. And, that, and that's who they want to go towards. I'm getting somebody really has their eye on a particular person. Somebody's going to propose and we got engagement. Yeah. Let your friends help you ask for, um, ask for and accept support from others. So you could be getting, um, advice from your friends. Yeah. Your friends could be telling you to move on. Yeah. Give your relationship a chance, make the effort. Yeah. Someone's going to make the effort to give a relationship that they want a chance. New love, this new love, they're giving that a chance. They want it. They trust it. They feel like it's safe to be with this person. They, they adore, they like how open-minded this person is, how, how inspirational, how hardworking, how ambitious and, um, and just very beautiful this person is. It's like they've never met a person like this. Yeah, playfulness. Re to recast your romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. So we got playfulness and flirting. So there's going to be a lot of playfulness and flirting with this new person here. Okay. Yeah, we have forgiven and learning, deception, romantic feelings, and give give your relationship a chance to make the effort. So someone's been hiding how they feel about someone, and they're hoping that they can forgive them or that they that these that they can start over with this new person or something like that. But they definitely are not looking at the past, just period. So those are your messages, Aquarius. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.